rolling. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, guys. My name is Dara. I'm a drummer and producer, and I started a podcast with my friend Sarah called Music Studio Live. Together, we talk with singer-songwriters and music makers about all things related to music. We hope you enjoy the show, and here we go. Hello, and welcome to Music Studio Live. I'm Daryl Nutt, and this is Sarah Hattica. Wait. This is Sarah Hattica. Actually, Sarah's on summer vacation right now, so she'll be back with us shortly. Uh, but until then, I'll just use a little movie magic and uh, have a couple different Sarahs. <laughs> anyway, today we have a special episode for you. It's the best of season one performances. And uh, it's been a great experience, right, Sarah? It's been a great experience uh, shooting uh, season one for you. And the feedback has been awesome and, and tremendous. Just the outpouring of everybody really digging what we're doing here. We'd like to thank you for your support, right, Sarah? We'd like to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash music studio live. And if you listen on the audio platforms, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, or Podbean, uh, please subscribe to us there. And also, if you'd like to get some bonus features, uh, like extra songs, behind the scenes, bloopers, uh, photo galleries, um, you can follow us or join our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash music studio live and it's only a few dollars a month and it's been a crazy summer but i promise we'll have some more stuff up there for you uh as soon as as soon as this episode airs so again uh we want to thank everybody right sarah <laughs> we want to thank everybody for your support and we want to thank our crew uh brent and and jess and michael you guys have been awesome uh helping us put this thing together and so here is the best of season one, the performances. Right, Sarah? Do you want to add anything to that? All right. My name's Tom Phelps, and I'm your guest on Music Studio Live. When I co-write with people, uh, for example, Ruff, she, yes. she gave me all the ideas and the context okay. mm -hmm. that she wanted the song to be about. She's a fantastic singer, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's, she's really talented. Want to say her name? Uh, yeah. Annie May. Yes. You can find her, yeah. Uh, but um, she, she gave me all the ideas she wanted, and I kind of tried to bring that into my experience. Wait, so you're already a hired songwriter <laughs> <laughs> uh, at 14? I mean, I wouldn't say hired. I do it. Right. You know, I, people will send me their songs and I'll, I'll adjust whatever I want to adjust. That's awesome. Stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. Good fun. Yeah. And, um, but, but for rough, I, I just kind of wrote it based on what she wanted. And then the other one was based off a personal experience, but you know, you want to elaborate, elaborate on that at all? No, I don't think uh, that's, no? that's okay. necessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what do you, uh, what's your goals in the future? I mean, you, you, are you going to go to college? I mean, his dad is in the uh, yeah. in the room with us, so we're gonna just wash over that question. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, what? Where do you see yourself in in five years? Yeah, uh, let's see how many years would that be till you're out of five college? years time. All right, so <laughs> um, I I want to start gigging more in London. Okay, uh, because mm -hmm. I don't do a lot of gigs over there, and uh, ideally, I'd, uh, I I'm working. I've just finished writing my um, my 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 album. Oh wow! Which, well, I'm releasing. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re release an album called The Half, and okay. it's going to be half of the album, and then I'm going to release the whole two EPs. Yeah, yeah, two EPs more or less, just because it's you know, it's too much to record a whole one with school going on and everything right. like that. Right. Uh, so I, I've written half of it so far, and um, I'm going to try and record that early and record and release that early next year, um, and then these songs will be on that. Yeah, uh, not rough because that's not. My it's song, already out. But yeah, yeah uh, the other one will be, and then, and then um, f yeah, this this is actually the first time anyone's heard the other song, uh, so far. So it's the first time I've played it. Wow. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, so, okay, Tom, you just did a gig in Naples. Yes. Um, it was in a little pub type situation. It was supposed to be outside, and the weather didn't work out. So, yeah. let me ask you a question here, and this is actually inspired by Michelle. Um, our friend that's here. When you play for an audience that's very captivated in what you're doing, it feels amazing. We all experienced mm -hmm. that before. But when you play 
a public place where people are drinking and talking and having their own conversation and you're in the background. Is it hard for you at your age? Cause you haven't performed a lot. Is it hard to concentrate? Do you feel that, that you need to demand a little more attention? Yeah. Or I mean, are you accepting of it? Well, I find that when, when I'm performing for people who are, who are having their own conversations and whatever, it, it just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not, you know, as nearly as good as, yeah. When audio, somebody's watching. When you, someone's yeah. watching, right. yeah. But when, when you're performing for, it, it gives, it gives a nice opportunity to work on your projection, your, your, your performance. You can try things. You feel that, you want to command a, a little bit more. And, and you can try things that you'd never usually try when, when the audience is captivated because you, they're not going to notice if you, if you mess up, you sure. know? Right. Uh, and so, so there are some positives and negatives i i i don't mind it you know it's it's fun well, you put in the hours that's, that's yeah the exactly part. yeah yeah how yeah. often would you say you're performing in, pu in public or private i perform I quite a lot at school okay uh, so that what three or four times uh, a month oh at wow school. Oh, good and then um and then at home i don't do as nearly as much as I, i'd like to be doing but um but no um, let's get that straight you're not you're not like living at home going to school uh, no, I, 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 I go to boarding school. You're in boarding school. Yeah. And which I don't think a lot of people in the States really know what that right. is. Right. Yeah, no, so I sleep at school. You sleep for, at school. Oh, wow. Yeah, I go to school for three weeks, and then I come home at the end of the three weeks and spend two or three days at home, and then go back to school for another three oh, weeks. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's interesting. So, wow. It's very interesting. It's, yeah. it's sort of like... I don't know. I would think it'd be like a little bit of a vacation, but it's a really long vacation that you're working and learning. And yeah, but eventually you start going it feels back to like the home. vacation. You're like, oh, you yeah, know, yeah. I don't want to be here. At the first, the first time I went, it was like, oh my god, yeah, I'm so excited because I get to, got to meet new people, sure. you know, try right. new things. But then just got a bit. It gets old quick. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's it's. it's I have to do it. Have yeah, to you to have school, to do so, it. You know, it's, right. Yeah, and it's not that much. It's not worse than going to day school, uh, just like ordinary school. So yeah. Um, well, you're still you're still putting in the time with music. That's yeah. what you would do mm -hmm. when you got home. And anyway. I, I get to use these great music facilities that the school has. Oh, perfect. Because they have you know small recording studios and oh wow, you know, that's great. Sorts of, Stuff, I want so. to go to that school. Yeah, that's yeah, it's, awesome. It's good I fun. I had that. Well, I know I noticed there's a school right outside the studio here, and the cars line up for the yeah. kid pickup. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, wow, at my age, what a burden it would be to have to go to school every day. And then I'm like, you're an idiot. You come to the studio and work all day. It's kind of the same thing. Right. Yeah. And I'm learning stuff here, YouTube, I'm learning stuff all the time. So I don't know what my point was, but <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it's not not as much forced kind it's, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's fun. You get, I come you here because it's fun and I like right, doing exactly. it. Yeah, yeah but, you don't have um, deadline. Well, you do. I do. Have I, I have. I, I have clients that were calling me while we were recording, wanting their true, stuff. So, true. well, I find that if you have deadlines, it makes it easier to work. Yeah, especially on music. Because uh, I agree yeah. with that actually. Yeah, if you if you have some, I want my song done by the end of this month. Agreed. Right. You finish it by the end of the month. You know. Yeah. Otherwise, when it's open ended, it's it's a creative you keep process. It off. So yeah, it's it's that, and you might work on it a little bit, and then you feel okay. I'm, I'll get inspired later. Mm. It'll yeah. be better if I yeah. You feel overwhelmed of, if you have more yeah. time sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So yeah. interesting. Hold me down, you should be holding me up It's got me thinking about how there used to be love Why do you push me away? Why do you make our love go? Our story has just begun, now our story's getting old Cause I don't I'll be fine doing things on my own I don't wanna be dependent on your love I just wanna be the one you're thinking of And it hurts me to know I'm not enough Well I guess these waters they were always rough Sing chasing cars just for you I thought I knew 
who you were But now I'm really not sure anymore And you can never say that I was right when you were wrong And if we went out on a date all your friends would come along Gotta stop calling my phone Not interested in your heart's hearty to pour But geez, I'm better on my own On my own I don't wanna be dependent on your love I just wanna be the one you're thinking of And it hurts me to know I'm not enough Well, I guess these waters, they were all Depending on your love And I know that I'm the one you're thinking of Does it hurt you to know you're not enough? Well, I guess these waters, they were always rough For more information on Tom, visit his SoundCloud at soundcloud.com slash Tom Phelps and his Instagram at Tom P. Phelps. This is Music Studio Live. Hi there, I'm Brian Sutherland, and today I am your guest on Music Studio Live. Can you explain this song? Because I heard you do this at the Barrel Room downtown, mm -hmm. and I couldn't, the sound wasn't the best, so I couldn't hear all the lyric. Right. But boy, when I heard that chorus, I, I just got a chill just now thinking about that yeah. feeling I had when I heard that chorus. So that song is about... That song was written by me and Jody Stewart Regner. Jody is a Canadian songwriter, is my number one co write. I write with her more than I write with anybody cool. else. Mm. Um, and Jody is, is a wonderful lyricist and creates these beautiful images with lyric that I, I, I love working with her because she can do something that I, I just can't. You mm -hmm. know, she paints a beautiful picture. And the song started, she brought it to me as a song for her dad who had passed away. Mm -hmm. And about that time, my grandfather passed away. Wow. And my grandfather was the only kind of musical person involved in my family. So oh, okay. um, it, you know, it meant a lot to me to do something for him as well. So we, mm -hmm. we, we combined those two things and fashioned the lyric in such a way that it would, it would pay a good homage to both. Yeah. Um, but the idea of the song was, you know, you know, if I'm talking about, my, for example, I'm talking about my grandfather right now, right? He's at the tip of my tongue. I know exactly where he is, right, in my life. But when I'm not talking about him or, or I'm going about my life, well, where does he live in that? Mm -hmm. That's wow, kind of the yeah. idea. Yeah. So, it's a very visual, the lyrics are very visual. Very they visual. are, yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's Jody, man. I tell you, she's a freaking Rembrandt with, with words. The wow. macaroni frame. Gets me every time. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. Great. It, took me, it took me recording that four times before I yeah. was like, yeah. all right, I can get through this. Yeah. Yeah. I wow. bet. I yeah. bet. Well, let's go ahead and play uh, Where Do You Go? Uh, Brian Sutherland here in Music Studio Live. Pictures still hanging on my wall In that old macaroni frame That I made for you When I was only eight And there was magic in your fingertips 
The way you pick those rusty strings I can still hear you smile when you'd sing I wish I could hear you sing And where do you go When you're not on my mind Where do you live the rest of the time Where do your smiles fade away to And where do you go Close my eyes and see Every single memory the Tears rolling down my cheek I just don't want to know Where do you go Don't hang here anymore No muddy boots sitting on the porch It's all packed up and donated to the church Every once in a while I see someone in town Wearing that old cross necklace It still makes my heart heavy in my chest It's heavy in my chest And where do you go? You're not on my mind Where do you live the rest of the time? Where do your smiles fade away to? And where do you go? Close my eyes and see Every single memory The tears rolling down my cheek I just don't want to know For more information on Brian, visit SutherlandSongs.com. Hi, I'm Casey Weston, and I'm your guest today on Music Studio Live. We did a song called Cocaine. Give us the premise of this song. So um, a friend up in Nashville, she dated someone that had an issue with cocaine, Mm -hmm. and I dated someone that had um, an issue with different substances and other issues entirely but I think that the cocaine the song cocaine is really about that person that there's something that they are so um, lost in that it's taking them away from you and if that wasn't there any addiction right any any addiction it's taking them away from you and there's no way for you guys to have this amazing thing because there's something that's loved more Mm-hmm. And and it's not like that person wants to love it more. And I feel like it, you know, to to use a substance to have any sort of, um, you know, if you have an eating disorder or anything like that, again, it's something inside that mm-hmm. is hurting. You were filling yeah. a void. You were drinking to forget. You are um, getting high so that you um, aren't thinking about these things or so that you don't feel bad, so that you feel happy or whatnot. So there's something 
broken or hurt or lost in someone's soul. And so we wrote this song about how much you can love someone and how you can try to be there for them and sit there and just say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to talk you out of this, but... I'm your cocaine. I'm right, the cocaine. Right, yeah, and, and, and it, it can go from all different, you know, all different people. My, my, when, I, when I was writing the song with um, the two co-writers, I was pulling from my experience with dating, you know, an older guy that... I, I mean, I loved him so oh, I know who it much, is. so much, and and he, um, <laughs> and and I wanted to be enough for him. I wanted to be enough, and I yeah. just, and there was nothing. I could not because he, he, he couldn't let me be enough. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And Absolutely. that I had to save myself. So it was like that that line in the song, "I can't help you, yeah, because I need help too." And he's like, and then my goddamn addiction sure won't let me win. Like me loving him and wanting him so much was literally going to kill me. I was going to go down into the darkness. Yeah. And there's the, like, there was this quote, you know, like, um, she's dancing with the devil, but she knew exactly who she was dancing with. I mean, I wanted to, to not to save him, but to show him, like, look how good life mm -hmm. is when it's just you and me sitting on the couch. You know, yeah, we can have a glass of wine and chill and, you know, like, we... We we connected and he was weird. He was weird like me. Like he would dance. He was and a ten. I I once like showed my mom how he was he how he danced and it was hilarious to me. And I mean you know <laughs> Can you some, show us. No, just <laughs> I, I would, but I I don't want him again. <laughs> but um you know it's it's about kind of saving saving yourself and also just you know your cocaine. You can't you can't make that into a, a good thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Music Studio Live presents Casey Weston performing her song. Cocaine. I can't stop you from doing what you're doing. Those wild mountains, they Such a good thing Every other minute Stop and look up at me I was begging me for mercy You can't stop caving in You say please keep talking Those thin white lines So I keep on staring Wondering why I even care when Your love causes pain Fix so I stay sane My, my cocaine My words distract you But I just sit here knowing you just keep on going Till there ain't nothing left
For more information on Casey Weston, visit her website at caseyweston.com. Would you like to have access to extra songs from our guests, photo galleries, bloopers and outtakes, and behind-the-scenes footage? Well, you can. You can go to patreon.com slash musicstudiolive and select the Backstage Pass tier. It's only $3 a month and you'll have access to every bonus feature from every episode that we have. So go now and get your Backstage Pass to Music Studio Live. That's patreon.com. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Music Studio Live. This is Music Studio Live. Hi, we are Lettuce and Jet. And we're your guests on Music Studio Live. Well, guys, let's talk about um, the first song we did, Leave Me Alone. Uh, Sarah played piano and I played shaker and tambourine. <laughs> Very excited about that, by the way. I didn't have to learn the drum part for a change. <laughs> it was great. Uh, explain that song. I, I, we've all been in that place where, mm-hmm. whether it's uh, addiction or depression or um, just pissed off at somebody, you just want to be left alone. How did that song come about? Heath? Yeah, it was. Well, I, I'm <laughs> strumming. Strum, what usually happens is I strum and find a a pattern that I like mm-hmm. and then the first thing that pops in my head whatever that first line is and I build off that so somebody bothered you and you said just leave me the hell alone yeah. I want <laughs> so I build it like a book uh, you know start at chapter one and yeah verse verse chorus verse chorus that's where I write all that stuff I can't like I know a lot of people write the chorus first right yeah and they build around the hook that. they find the hook first but yeah. I, I'm the opposite I just I start at the front and I work my way to the end of it you know and it, in one sitting has to be if yeah. if I don't. It's so you write a song in interesting. fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, yeah. half hour. Yeah, that's awesome. I told him a story about Veronica Lake, my favorite actress. Oh, I just love her from like the forties, and literally like the next day, he's like, I got a song, and he played it, and I was like, it was like it was amazing. It'll be on the next record. It's so amazing. I was like, he just whenever he just gets focus man he just he really just it's, so it's like awesome. the whole thing that you, yeah. if you try too hard the things oh, they don't work yeah, well, some work. people really really study the craft of it and they have co-writes four times a week and right. and that's cool that is a system that that does work mm. but a real gift mm. is somebody that can just sit down and then a, a song that's moves people comes out in 15 minutes yeah I, if, I've, I've co-written several songs but it, it it's not comfortable for me it's not your, your way you want to do it I don't I, can never get the feeling that we're on the same page and okay. we're going down the same right. path. Yeah. They'll want to go that way and I want to go. You just say, way. just leave me alone and I'll write yeah, the same song yeah. myself. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, I mean, we've all been around the addiction and no matter what it is, alcoholism or, or you're hooked on pills. Black tar heroin. Well, yeah, whatever, you know. So it was, <laughs> Luke, <laughs> once that got rolling, it was not hard. It wasn't hard to write that song, you know, because we've all been there.
For more information on our guest, visit lettersfromjet.com or on Instagram at lettersfromjet with two T's. Hey, my name is Emir Bukovica. I'm from Bosnia. I'm happy to be here at Music Studio Live. They took us uh, like we were in a line and they would say, okay, you go there, South Carolina, Georgia, two people, California, wow. two people there. Because and they had people that were going to help you in these cities. Yeah, because we had like sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know in that time who was my sponsor wow. who helped from here. And I can say right away, it's Lutheran Church here. Lutheran Church. Uh, and then, you know, somebody just, uh, it, it was my name and they said, you know, Fort Myers, Florida. And one another couple, you know, okay. like we are, you're going to for, and I remember uh, we were spending that day because flight was a uh, uh, little bit later mm -hmm. that day, and we are uh, we went outside. Just you know, I was like so impressed. I was in New York, but uh, the situation that you are like uh, ten days before that, you you've been in a real hell. Yeah. Right. And then. You know, ten days later, you are, it was for me like heaven, and I remember. And why I'm talking this story is because it's important about uh, song Sarajevo, New York. Rome. That's okay. I right. was walking uh, uh, the streets of uh, New York City, and each person who was passing by me, I saw for the second it was somebody that I knew. It was like, oh my God, it's my dad, and then guy passed by. It's not my dad. I saw like so many people, like my best friend who was drummer, who was killed during the war, and uh, look, my neighbor, and I. All of a sudden, I saw all these people. They are passing, but I, I, I didn't know anybody about. That's when I decided I will, I will write that song Sarajevo, New York, Chroma, because we were flying, or uh, uh, you know, from Sarajevo. To, then the flight was from Zagreb over the Roma. Then. Uh, to New York. Yeah. And that was, uh, you know, why I wrote this song. Uh, after New York, they told us, okay, tonight we'll have a flight to Fort Myers. And I remember landing in Fort Myers and, you know, checking where I'm going. You don't know where you go. You don't, you know, don't know your you're future. Going to a church or did you go right. to somebody's house? No, no, nobody told us in that point that that was Lutheran Church who was sponsoring. And later I found out uh, Pastor, you feel helpless, right? Pastor Harold Pop was uh, from our area. He was born there. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he decided to help a uh, uh, couple of families. And Dario was is from Croatia, correct? Uh, yes, and later some people came to help me, you know, like Dario from Mariani Restaurant in Fort Myers. And then, of course, this music friends, they came yes. later after that. Music Studio Live presents Emir Bukovica singing his song, Sarajevo, New York, Roma. Like a regency into the gold 
cama Sarajevo bio kloma Sarajevo bio kloma Let my heart see it again Let my eyes see it again I hide the pain Be any place you wanna see In your soul and overseas You will find my liberty Anywhere you wanna be Any place you wanna see In your soul and overseas You will find my liberty information on Amir, go to amir-frozencamels.com. You're tuned in to Music Studio Live. Hi everybody, my name is Tim McGarry. I'm going to be your guest tonight on Music Studio Live. We have a little bit of time and I uh, want to talk about the songs that we recorded today. Okay, mm -hmm. right. Um, well, Stardust, let's start mm -hmm. with that one and we'll play that one first. Okay. Or, well, I don't know, it depends on where we are in the... 
right. in the podcast where we'll play it. But Well, I wrote that with my uh, two writers, Scott and uh, Donna. Scott Barrier and Donna DePopo. And um, I met them through, uh, I was doing a songwriter round. And they came, they saw me play. And I said, hey, let's write one. And they came up with this. And the theme is like, um, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty spiritual person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And the thing is like, you know, we, everyone wants to separate us. Like, you know, it's the you know, Republicans and, you know, the liberals and, you know, you're, we really want all the same stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. We want to have a hot meal. We want, we want a nice house. We want opportunity. We want health care. You know, I mean, it's like, of course we want that stuff. Happiness. You know? and, and, and happiness, mm-hmm. I mean, like, and be fulfilled. So we're not as far apart as everyone wants to make us out to be. Mm-hmm. So the Stardust thing, you know, just we all come from Stardust. Right. When it comes down to it. That's the basic. Yeah, I, I, mean, love that's, it. I mean, that's it. So, like, you know, it's like you, can, you can do all you want in those separating stuff, but we're all from the same place. You know cool, what I mean? So, so, so that's how the song comes in. I really, and I totally, I totally believe that. I mean, do this traveling stuff we're doing, my wife and I, you know, and uh, the more you see of the world, the more you see. And I did a lot of traveling as a merchant marine, you know, so I went, and mm-hmm. I I went to places like, you know, Pakistan and India and, you know, and Mogadishu and you know, wow. Ethiopia and Sudan and stuff. That'll and be the next podcast. We'll talk yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but, um, you know, you, you see that stuff and, you know, the, and the, the world's a great place and there's so many wonderful things that you can see, even though like, you know, um, you pick out, you know, it's different stuff, but everyone has some beauty you know, something that they can... We're all the same here. We're all the same. Whether right. our minds have changed Yeah, or not. and we all come mm-hmm. from the same space. We all come from the one source. It's yeah. not like in different sources, you know. I, I think, like, you know, the, the, the guy of the universe going, like, what are you doing down there? Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> it's me. That's it.
This is Music Studio Live. Hi, I'm David C. Johnson, and I'm your guest today on Music Studio Live. I do want to talk about the songs that we did today. Uh, one of them being, I just got to chill because I know this, this song is amazing. It's a song called Home. Uh-huh. And there's a specific reason that you wrote this song. Yeah. And uh, can you tell us what that was? Well, this song, it, it originated as just a, just as an instrumental solo piano thing. I just, I just came up with the chords and I just, and I just love the chords, but, and this was in the early to mid nineties when I, when I started messing around with this on the mm -hmm. piano. So I, I had the progression wow. and I loved it. It was beautiful. But then uh, certain people in my family started getting sick and they started passing away. Mm. Like uh, I lost my, my, my aunt Addie, who was my original inspiration to play piano. Cause she was a, she was a pianist. And oh, she, wow. Yeah, so I so so my musical beginnings kind of came from her. Mm -hmm. I lost my aunt Addie, then I lost my my stepdad, hmm. then I lost two uncles, Oof. and then I lost my brother. And this was all within, I want to say, a five year span. Wow, wow, that's hard. Yeah. So by the time I lost my brother, and the, and these and I lost them all to illness, and some of them some of the illnesses were long term. Mm. So by that time, I, I still had the chords. In my head, but by that time, the the message started to come to me. Mm -hmm. it, it almost became like an open letter to the, to the people that they were leaving behind. Say, okay, from all of them, from all of them. I'm yeah. just saying, you know, you know, I, you know, I'm free finally. I'm 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 not going to deal with any more pain, any more sickness. Yeah, man. I can I can finally go home, and you and you can release me. You, I love you. It's it's all good. It's fine. Everything's going to be all right. I'm I'm complete and whole now because I'm no longer trapped. My my soul, the the, the part of me that you love, my spirit is no longer trapped in a sick body. I can, mm -hmm. I can, I can give again because, you know, when, when you're a giver of love and all this other stuff, and when you're no longer physically able to give yeah. because your body is not allowing that to happen anymore, once your spirit is released, then you, you, can, you can open up all new vibes for, for loved ones and, and everywhere. It's a great message to, yeah. to the loved ones that they touched yeah. when they hear your song. And it, can... it was closure for me. It was closure for my mom and everybody else in my family. Right. So, yeah, when, when, those, when those words finally started coming to me, because, you know, because you know, my brother's thing, I had to, you know, I believe at that time I had to do a eulogy and things like that. And then uh, my, my sister died. And recently, uh, my wife, Tara, and I, we just lost a friend very suddenly. She just and she was one of the healthiest people that we knew. She just wow. she just had a brain aneurysm and just went like that. Oh wow. my goodness! Young woman, you know, and our kids went to school together. Oh man! And you know, she was married to her high school sweetheart and this, that, and the other. And uh, and it was just it, it shook us because it just lets you know that within a moment's time, no matter how healthy you are, no matter right. how good your life is, something can just can take you away at a moment's yeah. notice. Cry for me. I'll be where I need to be. I've had my fun. My work here is done, and now it's time to go on home. And I see a bed away from me, a place in eternity. And I'll meet the one they call God's son, he'll say to me. I hope 
and you will know then wherever you may go then life goes on go have your fun and smile for me go home say a prayer when I go home don't shed a tear when I go home just know that I loved you when I go For more information on David C. Johnson, visit his website at davidjohnsonmusic.com. Be sure and visit our website at musicstudiolive.com. There you'll find all of our social media links. You're tuned in to Music Studio Live. Produced in part by evokestudio.io and deafmediagroup.com. Meow. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our podcast. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel now and then hit the little bell icon for future updates. Music Studio Live is a live performance podcast that also talks with singers, songwriters, and music makers about music, songwriting, and life.